yes I know For the Bible tells me so Bro, this looks so sick and now I have fucking pasta sauce on it It's about drive, it's about power It's about drive, it's about power I know, you see, somehow the world will change for me Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood washed up emo Johnny Gilbert but today, I'm finally doing my Q&A, and if you guys didn't know, I asked for questions about four months ago. And I know you guys are like, Johnny, where's new music? Like, where's, where's, actually no one cares about my music. Johnny, where's your ex? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'll stop. So I'm gonna be answering all the questions, alright? There wasn't really any juicy questions, nobody asked me anything juicy, but I'm gonna try to pretend that they're juicy and like, oh my god, but... Really, it's just like, what's your favorite color? Be sure to hit the like button also, because the more likes, the less I want to die. First question is, what are your thoughts on the metal scene? Honestly, uh, I'm not super involved in the metal scene. I don't really know what qualifies for metal. I listen to Machine Gun Kelly. I listen to uh, Dixie D'Amelio. I don't know if that's really metal necessarily, but I think it's a little bit edge. What's your point star name? 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 I used to say when I was younger my porn star name would be the disappointment, which is just like Starting myself uh, exactly where it is, but since Brian Stars did text me a really great porn star name, I'm gonna use it. And that porn star name would be Mr. Six Inch. That's my porn star name because apparently I have a six incher. It's actually like really, I'm proud of that. Damn. Like I mean, I honestly, I'm probably like not even six inches. I'm probably like three and three point six centimeters. Please, if you meet me, do not come up to me and say, "What's up, Mr. Six Inch?" I don't want that. Okay, I don't actually want that. Don't fucking say that to me. Do you plan on quitting YouTube in the future? Yep, actually right now. Let me turn off my camera real quick. Not really. I have a ton of videos that I still need to post, especially for the music stuff that I'm doing. Once I get my album out, I have like behind the scenes of making all that stuff. And I think YouTube is a great platform to share like longer formatted content. So no, I know my channel is dead. Um, but I still plan on posting on it because that's just what I do. But I'm not leaving you, okay? I'm not like your father. I'm not gonna leave you. Or my dad. My dad left me, kind of. He died, but I mean, he's not here. I mean, he's in the house, but he's like sand. What's my favorite song at the moment? My favorite song at the moment. That's tough, honestly. God damn it. What is my favorite song at the moment? That's like asking, what's your favorite type of water? Water? I do like, uh, Do You Wanna Taste This by Wigwam, which is like in the James Gunn intro. I don't really know. I like a lot of music, so kind of just go from song to song. Keep it fresh. Favorite songs, Curiosity Kills by Tell That Three Part. That's what it is. What is my favorite color? Honestly, my favorite color is your mom. I don't really have a favorite color, but now I kind of have favorites. I don't know. I like a lot of colors, though. I like red, probably the most. Then I go with, like, black. Then I go with white. Then I go with green and orange. And now I'm just naming every color. These are red and black. They're black, but they're red. So people are probably wondering, why do I have a foot here? Um, it's because I have a foot fetish. I don't have a foot fetish, I just have a foot, alright? It's decoration. Maybe you guys should decorate some way. What was my favorite music video to film? That's a really good one. Uh, it's pretty tough to decide. I like a lot of my videos I film. I guess there's like a difference in the video that I like the way it turned out the most. The video that I had the most fun filming or something. I'd say one of my favorite videos to film was probably You Girl when I was really young. Kind of cool when we had the whole squad and we were all dressing up. That was pretty cool. It had like swords and masks. So I kind of liked that. I liked how it turned out even though it's a little nerdy, but it's, it's cool. I think the one that I liked the way it turned out the most was maybe All My Friends Are Dead, honestly. I would say. I also like My Mind. That was a really fun one to film, except uh, My Mind was really scary. We actually filmed an early version, but I didn't like how it turned out. It was like a green screen one, and I wasn't really a fan of it, um, so we went and reshot it, and then we stayed at like a haunted house. At the time, my ex and I, you know, we stayed there, and it was really creepy, and we actually stayed in the place that we shot at, and I was scared, and it was in the middle of nowhere. You hear wolves like howling at the middle of the night, but that one was pretty fun to film, so I had a good time with that one as well, and I liked the way it turned out. I have any tattoos planned? I kind of do. Uh, I currently, I think in like the next few days, I'm gonna get this, you know, added because it hurts so bad. I didn't fill it in yet. I have a few more I want to get. You know, they just cost money, so be sure to check out JohnnyGilbert.com or tell that part merch.com. It's linked down below, and give me your money. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of tattoos I want to get. I want to get stuff for a lot of my favorite artists. I want to get stuff that's sentimental to like my family. I want to get stuff that has to do with a lot of movies and stuff that inspire me because. 
movies and music and all that stuff is what kept me going in life. Especially if it would look cool, because I want to look like a cool rock star guy, even though I suck at playing instruments. You know where to find mommy's melt. What the fuck are you? What? In my opinion, what is the best horror film ever made? That's tough. I think a lot of horror films and movies in general just go for different things, even though they're the same genre. Way to like put us together, but they're not really all that simple as to, oh, this is like what, you know, is the best horror movie of all time. But there are my favorites and I'll say some of them. I'm like super into Rob Zombie movies. So I like House of 1000 Corpse and The Devil's Rejects a lot. Um, those two were really cool. But there's also like horror movies that I like where it's like as above, so below and stuff where you're under a cave and stuff. Or um, even like the found footage stuff like Creep 1 and 2. Those ones were pretty cool. And I think actually one of my favorite horror films of all time is the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I do like The Evil Dead as well. The Evil Dead is super good. That's a really fun one. Who was my first musical inspiration? Um, some of my musical inspirations were like Never Shot Never when I started. What is love? What is love? Hank the Disco. The first album I actually bought was Pretty Odd by Panic! The Disco, which is their second record, so that one was pretty cool. I was younger, I was inspired by like Michael Jackson. Just like a lot of artists, honestly. There was like so many artists that I was inspired by. I didn't really like have a range of who I was into. If anything, I listened to a lot of pop when I was younger. When I was really young, I would watch American Idol with my family and I would listen to like Chris Daughtry and shit like that. Do it be shitting. Yes, yes, I, I I shit like a human being. What the fuck do you want from me? Not a constant amount of poop, all right? I'm not constantly shitting, but yes, I have to poop as a human being. I know, it's gross, okay? But like, don't act like you're above it. You also poop, I know it. I'm not like watching you, but I know you do it because you're fucking here. What is a memory that makes you happy? When I know, when I see like old footage of me and my friends and stuff and like us growing up and everything, like the whole MDE squad and stuff, even if I'm not friends with everyone that's in that group anymore and stuff, it's still, you know, cool to see like the fucking, you know, old school shit. I don't know, reminisce on that stuff because there was some really cool moments, even though some of it wasn't great, but that's kind of, you know, just life. Not even just with MDE. I mean, I just have like any friend moments that were like positive and fun. Like I have like a lot of people that I've, you know, had memories and moments with and it's been, uh, really nice um, to look back on and stuff. Or when I've met people that like I've looked up to and stuff and I've gone to talk to them and that's always been cool. I've had a few experiences like that. So anything like that, that's just kind of out of the ordinary has always been fun and anything that sticks in your head. Do I think I'll get any tattoos removed or covered up? The idea would be nice sometimes, but mostly I would just get them like touched up if anything. I'm not really planning on like getting anything covered up at the moment. It would be like, something maybe in the future. I don't have any plans to get anything removed. Um, there's definitely some things that maybe I wouldn't have gotten, but for the most part, I don't have that many tattoos and most of them I've gotten like I wanted and got them professionally done. Who's hotter, Ronnie Racky or Max Green? What the fuck are these questions, bro? You think I'm gonna actually answer that? Like, you think, you think I'm gonna answer that? You think I'm gonna, I mean, fuck, dude. How do I define myself as emo? Um, uh, cause it's a good title, or it used to be. That's mostly it, honestly. I would put emo in my title cause like back in the day on YouTube, that's what people did and it was my thing. So I was like, fuck it, I'll do it, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just like kind of what I've been told. So I just kind of go with it. I definitely, obviously am like very stereotypical emo vibes. So I'm not very surprised by it and I understand it. Um, but it's not something I live by necessarily is, oh my God, I gotta be an emo. I gotta be an edgy little emo boy. Uh, it just kind of is natural, so therefore, just, it's just me. I don't know what to tell you. When will my album release? Uh, I have no idea currently, but I do have artwork coming soon, and I do have a title done for it and all the song titles, and I'm going to be filming two more music videos very soon, and I have an animated one being made. It is coming along. I know it's taken a long time, but I'm like an independent artist doing it himself and stuff, so it's very hard to like get everything moving, but I'm trying. There's some ways you cope with your depression and anxiety. I take medicine, which kind of helps, and that's kind of it. I think just mostly with my anxiety and depression, which is still hit or miss, and it's very day-to-day -day struggle. Um, I just have to remember that I'm gonna get through it somehow, and sometimes I'm able to control my sadness a little more and 
stay strong and sometimes it really gets the best of me and I just don't do anything and I feel defeated. Where do I see myself in five years? This is a great question. This one's deep. Um, on the real, I have no idea. I just, I guess I have hopes and dreams, but honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing in life. I've never known what I was doing in life. People ask me what I'm doing for a job or a career and I'm like, well, I make enough to live, but I don't actually know what I'm doing. I, I try to do things. Hopefully I can get into a relationship again and feel comfortable and have someone that's there for me and I can be there for them. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know, moved out, have my license would be great because uh, that kind of sucks not having. And then I would like to, you know, obviously continue the music and YouTube thing and hopefully just elevate it and take it further than I've ever taken it. I would like to take a uh, Till Death Do Part and my solo music as far as I can take it and make it into a career and a hobby and everything. Are you a boob or ass man? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Like, if I, I've answered this before and like straight up the answer is if I like someone, like, I like them. So I like all of them. Uh, I like their boobs and I like their face and I like their butt and that's it, I don't know. Like. <laughs> are vinyls and CDs coming out for your album? Yes, this will be my first album where I definitely do vinyl um, and CDs and I'm gonna sign them all and I will be sending them out and we have amazing artwork that was made by an artist that I really like and I'm very happy with how it turned out and it's all coming along and I'm gonna be sending it out myself so I'm kind of nervous about that but I will try to have vinyls and CDs and if I don't have them right when the album's released, I'll have them a couple months after, you know what I mean? But it will be coming at some point. All right, thank you all so much for watching this video, though. I appreciate all the comments and the questions. And if you want, you can leave some questions down below on this video because I'll probably want to do another one of these and I'll get questions from YouTube, why not? And please check out all my links down below. I got stuff with Never Take It Off, which is my jewelry line, like the Serene. I got some Johnny Gilbert merch and I have more designs being made as we speak. It helps me fund my music and just live and eat food. Here, check out my newest music video, Curiosity Kills, and my newest song. And check out all the Spotify and SoundCloud and all that stuff. It really helps. We'll be having more music with Tell That Three Part and my solo stuff very soon. Thank you guys for all the support. I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, not crappy. Life's a bitch, don't quit. And peace out, thug pugs. Bye. <laughs>